Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women around the globe, and it's the most likely reason that a woman will die of cancer. It's commonly said that breast cancer is really just a problem of wealthy countries, but that's in fact not true. At this time, we're, and we're in 2013, almost 1.5 million cases will be diagnosed each year, and half of those, over 750,000, will be in low and middle income countries. Breast cancer deaths is also now the majority taking place in low and middle income countries. We're losing now over 400,000 lives per year and greater than 50% in these limited income settings. Over the next decade, we can expect that there will be over 17.5 million cancers diagnosed. There will be 5 million deaths of women to breast cancer and 3.6 million of those will be in low and middle income countries. So yes, breast cancer is a problem in the low and middle income countries. Certainly, WHO is under great pressure to make realistic recommendations and assessments. But it was a disappointment that they did not specifically list breast cancer indicators or metrics in the context of the plan. That being said, I remain optimistic. They have added to the plan a reference to early detection and screening, although they didn't specifically say breast cancer. And I think as we communicate more about the great impact that breast cancer has, then, and it being a very treatable cancer, that we can make an impact, especially in the middle income settings where it is realistic to improve outcomes. Even in low income settings, the very advanced stage disease that we typically see through breast cancer awareness and education, we can make a difference. And education is very affordable. The World Health Organization is the single most important organization in the world for addressing global healthcare concerns. Countries in uh, the developing world, in the low and middle income regions, turn to WHO for guidance. They turn to WHO as a source of information. The problem at this time is WHO has largely remained silent on breast cancer because they're not confident what it is that they should be suggesting but we do in fact have ways that we can make a difference. The Breast Health Global Initiative as a starting point has created a framework of resource stratification that defines where we begin in building systems that can improve outcomes for breast cancer. We think that at a minimum WHO should offer information along these lines so that countries don't make mistakes, so that they don't invest in the wrong technology, the technologies that are too expensive and for which countries are not yet ready. WHO makes a difference. The message to WHO and member states is that there are basic level resources that is needed for improving breast cancer outcomes around the globe. These are affordable and feasible and actually are fundamental to any process that improves non-communicable diseases. So we need to provide breast health awareness. Women need to know what breast cancer is, know that it's treatable, know that it's not invariably fatal. This is education that WHO can provide. They need to know that basic level resources are, should be available in the healthcare system. Providers need to know how to do a clinical breast examination so that they recognize early cancers rather than waiting till they're advanced to, before they are referred for diagnosis. I would recommend that they develop pathology services at a fundamental level. This, there are a variety of ways that we're thinking this through because you do need to prove that it's cancer. And basic level therapies, surgery, and basic drug therapy, radiation when available. These are all resources that should be brought to bear. These prioritizations are actions that WHO can recommend and that member states can provide.